We go hands-on the Verizon Galaxy Nexus and tell you all about it. Have you ever heard of Google Magell? And malware seems to be the top news for Android this week. All this and more coming up right now. Everyone, I'm Jaime Rivera with PocketNow.com and welcome to Android Revolution, the show where we go through what's hot and what's not inside the world of Google's Android project. Let's start this week off with what's hot. Since the hottest news of the week have to do with the Verizon Galaxy Nexus, let's go through our week's coverage. First of all, make sure you catch Adam Lane's recent video unboxing of the Verizon Galaxy Nexus, which proves to be a very compelling device. Aside from that, Jeff later talks us through the LG Nitro HD from AT&T, which seems to be quite compelling, not in design-wise, but it does have really good specs, like for example, an HD display and LTE for AT&T. Aside from that, Joe Levi later walks us through how to get the APK file to get Google Wallet on your Verizon Galaxy Nexus, which you most likely already purchased. And if you're not really a fan of circles in the folders design for Ice Cream Sandwich, make sure you catch the link in the description with details on how to get it changed into a box or a folder or whatever you want. Joe also takes the time to show us the Nova launcher for Android and hey, if you're wondering if those other launchers like for example ADW and Launcher Pro work on Ice Cream Sandwich, make sure you watch the video from Joe Levi which brings us all the details on what works and what doesn't. Software updates have been the hottest news this week, and well, the hottest one of them all is the fact that Google has just released their update for Ice Cream Sandwich for the Nexus S. If you're currently carrying a Nexus S, the difference between it and the Galaxy Nexus is a bit compelling, but hey, you could probably save yourself a couple of bucks just update. It's currently free, so test it out and see what it's looked like. Facebook has just updated their timeline feature to work on their website, and interesting enough, Android is going to be the first operating system to be able to rock it, so all you have to do is update for timelines to work as your new wall in Facebook, and you'll see the new updates on the Facebook application as long as you update it. If you're also worried about getting Adobe Flash and Ice Cream Sandwich, don't be anymore because Adobe has just released the update for Flash Player to work on Ice Cream Sandwich. Out of the rumors for the week, Sony, and wait, notice that, I didn't mention Sony Ericsson, I mentioned Sony, has just launched images of an Xperia LT22 device showing, well, the typical ARC design, but sadly no Ericsson from here on. Not sure what to expect there. And while Sony's Walkman Z also came through the FCC, getting that Android love on a music player that's not going to become a phone, kind of interesting for those of you that are interested. And while Sony now spells even more images of the Xperia Nozomi, which plans to be the ARC HD, though sadly it seems to be like a catch-up to current devices out there like for example the Galaxy Nexus. If you had any doubts about all the buzz about this LG Spectrum, we also had images of the device for retail. And while the Verizon Galaxy Nexus also popped up on images and even a video showing an extended battery and a chubbier battery cover. Wonder what that'll be like and well, what is this about Google Magell? What's this project? And well, it seems that Google's planning to strike back at Apple's Siri with a new service which will bring you more natural voice control. I'm not saying you don't have voice control on Android devices, just Siri's a bit more natural. So it seems that Google's working on this project with Google X to launch a more natural software. And if you wonder what Magell is, look at Star Trek. And while it seems that the project's quite compelling, though sadly it was planned to be out by these this holiday season, so it seems that Google needs to be doing a little catch up on timing and let's see what happens in the end. On the dark side for the week, have a look at Joe Levi's recent article on all the top modifications you can give the Galaxy Nexus because it's so easy to root it and unlock it. Later, make sure you catch this article from Joe, which brings you different details and things you could do with the Ice Cream Sandwich Launcher, which looks quite compelling after your rooting treatment. And while the Motorola Droid Razor also came up on video with Ice Cream Sandwich running on it, though sadly it's not official. So, not sure when that's coming, but it has been announced, so let's hope it's soon. And before we go through what's not hot, well, let's talk about the smartphone releases for the week. We only got one, and that was the LG Prada phone that finally came out. It's not going to be called the K2, but sadly, it's going to be called the Prada phone by LG 3.0. Kind of a weird name. The specs are quite compelling if you compare it to anything that's out there from last year. Sadly, it's going to bring a WVGA resolution display in this decade. Sad news for the device because so far, if it wasn't for the display, the device would be really good.
That does it for what's hot. Let's continue on with what's not. And while recent studies show that malware on Android isn't getting any better. So far, studies even show the fact that malware applications have doubled in the past six months. Now, an interesting note here is that it seems that all these malware attempts are not coming from the Android market. They're either coming from other application sources, like for example, some other app stores out there, and even the fact that you siloed applications after you either do it legally or root it. Now, interesting enough is the fact that Google seems to be crossing their arms there and just saying, well, it's not our fault, when Google doesn't really have a clear picture of how much this is actually hindering the platform. I think that Google should actually consider the fact that no matter where malware comes from, it should be treated by Google itself and probably deal with it somehow because any other way, people are going to stop consuming Android smartphones just because they aren't safe. Imagine an enterprise without Android smartphones in the future. Seems kind of grim to me. That's it for today's show. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Jaime Rivera. Remember to give us a thumbs up if you like what you saw. That's it for now.